Did you know, when you're trying to do something, like start something new in your life, when you're trying to eat healthier, when you're trying to do a new diet, when you're trying to do fasting, when you're trying to build a successful business, if you tell people that that's what you're doing, they can often project their own insecurities or their own fears or doubts on you, and then they can affect your they can affect your life light and gain because of the energy and the spells that they put on you. So you can tell someone, hey, I'm going to try and go vegan, I'm going to try and eat healthy, and then they can go, oh, I bet that's well hard, bet you find it really hard trying to fast, bet you get starving when you're trying to fast, bet you could never do this, you know, anything you want to do, people will have their own opinions based on what they think they could do, and then they project those onto you, but it's more than just their opinion, because an opinion is actually a spell it's a layer in the game and so when someone has an opinion it's no just their own thoughts and they don't affect anything it's literally they project that energy and that spell onto that person place or thing and then they co-create the outcome of what that's going to be this is why we all co-create this reality based on what we feel inside and what we expect to, uh, to happen outside and we project that and we create that consciously so if anyone's telling you that they're trying to go raw, that they're trying to eat vegan, that they're trying to be healthy, that they're doing fasting, that they're doing anything, if you have an instant negative reaction or an instant negative thought that it's going to be difficult or that you couldn't do that or it's got anything that's negative, delete it, cancel and delete it, just say I instantly delete that or don't, if you have the thought in your head, just say delete, 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 don't speak it out loud, the, the moment you speak it out loud, it becomes more of a powerful spell because you've said it, you've created it into existence just don't judge, don't don't project, allow people to be their highest and best self, allow people to change and allow them the room to grow and to prove you wrong and to do it themselves, it don't matter if you couldn't do it, it doesn't mean they can't and so it's the same with people around you like family and stuff and this is one of the things I experienced with Christmas when I was trying to live the life of light which is basically trying to be my highest and best self, I was trying to eat really well, I was trying to speak well, I was no having alcohol anymore, I was doing raw vegan at Christmas time and people would make a snidey vegan comment or they would, I would get this energy like I just want to have a drink or I just want to eat shit food because those people, people around me was projecting that energy onto me or I was just involved in this collective energy of people indulging at Christmas time or having this energy of my own my own cycles, my own spells, where every single time at Christmas I would usually live a certain way and so I want to do it again because I'm back plugged into that same conscious awareness, that same energy every Christmas time, it's like you get plugged back into that version of self. So you need to really break out of these spells in order to move forward, you need to break out these cycles to move forward. So the best thing is know to tell people that you're doing these things, if you're fasting just don't mention anything, hopefully no one notices. If you're not drinking alcohol, don't tell anyone, just drink water and hopefully no one notices. You can obviously tell people the truth if you want, but it does make it harder if you've got people around you who are going to be projecting their opinions and thoughts on you, even if it's subconscious, even if you think they're there to support you. So my 12 Ways a Conscious Christmas course is a free course and it's starting on the first, it's starting literally this Sunday or this sunray. And one of the topics we're going to be discussing on one of the rays is going to be how to deal with annoying relatives at Christmas time and also the magic and the spells that people cast upon you at Christmas time and how to have a conscious Christmas, so how to live the life of light, how to have a Christmas where you're eating healthy, you choose healthy options, you want to be alcohol free, maybe you want to be um, like not having chocolate, maybe you want to cut out sugar, maybe you want to be more aware of energy, maybe you want to incarnate your highest self and become a Christ at Christmas, whatever you want. If you want to level up and maybe you find it difficult around Christmas time or around Holy Rays to actually stay on that path, if you want to fast and you may be like, oh no, it's going to be hard to fast when everyone's feasting, there's going to be loads of different rays of these topics that we're going to be talking about on my 12 Rays of Conscious Christmas course where um, I'm going to be able to help you out with help you out with hints and tips on how I survived my first Christmas and how I've survived every other Christmas since. <laughs> so apply for the course. You can do that by clicking the link that's in my profile. And hope to see you there. It's a wrap.